Alright, so this is my 230 volt distribution panel, currently on shore power, which is here, about 240 volts, 60 hertz, zero amps. These are just your basic analog gauges, older. This is a high speed networked uh, AC monitoring system. So this left column here is the 240 volts. So right now on shore power, it's seeing around 250. So I think that number's a little off. Zero current and 60 hertz. So it goes down like this, volts, current, amps. Okay, so right now we're at idle. I'm gonna bring it up to about a thousand. I've got a three to one ratio, so that's putting the generator head at about 3,000 RPM. And right now I'm in standby, because it's off. I'll go ahead and turn it on. It seems happy. So right now we are on shore power. All voltages are off, or all current, all loads are off, and shore power. Click it over to maps. Okay, goes to 250-ish. This says my hertz are way off, still zero. I got a single bar here, and it's saying 260 volts and uh, 60 hertz, no amps. So everything looks fine, running normal. Come over here, turn my hot water heater on. Just here, jumps up about oh, 15 amps, and it drops off. And it starts jumping all over the place. This is under, oh, and it failed here. And if I go back to shore power with the same load, I get 240 volts, 60 hertz, and about 15 amps on these gauges. Come over here, 16 amps, 240 volts, and 60 hertz is my shore power right now. And this goes back to a single bar and happy. So let's put it on the MEPS unit again, see what it does. Okay, so there's shore, MEPS unit, frequency drop, or hertz drops, frequencies kind of all over. Again, 
frequency, volts all over the place, amps all over the place, back to shore, stable, 60 hertz, 240, and probably 18 amps. And this is showing 240, 15. This just went to power on.